Hello, Patriots Colony. Welcome to Taiji Chen in Qigong. My name is Stan Rockwell. We're continuing to work on a, a sun style form of Taiji and our basic warm ups. I'm going to start just kind of walking a little bit and opening and closing your hands, saying hello to whoever might be around. Leo's behind me and he's sleeping in the chair. I don't know if you can hear her snoring, but she's here. You start off getting your posture, your balance, and your breathing. And you set up your foundation. So this nice and stable. You just start to sink down into her feet or about shoulder width apart, as parallel as you can get them. Again, stay in your comfort zone. If something bothers you, you back off until you can smile. You should be able to smile any one of these things you're doing. You just relax into it. And feel how the bottoms of your feet feel against the floor, left, right, front, back. It should be about equal in all directions. Visualize a line pulling you upwards, stretching you upwards, making you taller. And as it does, it makes adjustments to your body. Tops of your hips become parallel to the floor. Hips move back a little bit. Tailbone drops a little bit. Stomach and, and lower back flatten out. But again, if that doesn't feel comfortable, just relax into whatever feels best for you. Tops of your shoulders parallel to the floor and then relax down the center line. Imaginary line across your eyes and ears is parallel to the floor as that line pulls your head up. It mm, lifts the back of your head, tucks your chin in a little bit and may move your head back just a bit till it's nice and balanced on your shoulders. Remember in balance, keeping your head balanced on your body is a major part of it. Another major part is being relaxed and another major part is knowing how the bottoms of your feet feel against the floor. At this point, if you were to drop a line from your earlobe, it should go through the center of your shoulder, center of your hip, center of your ankle, a little bit of a bend in your knees. And for your foundation and your center, you drop a line from the crown of your head down through the middle of your body, through the perineum, and it hits the floor right in the middle of your foundation. All the area inside that line drawn around the outsides of your feet, that rectangle is your foundation. Knees are pointed in the same direction as your toes, always going to be pointed in the same direction as your toes and your knee is never going to go beyond the end of your toes. So if you're in a stance like this and you drop a line from the end of your, from that side of your knee, it should hit right at the base of your toes. You want to keep it easy on the ankles, toes, hips, back, shoulders, neck. Once you're balanced, you just focus on your breath. Remember it's abdominal breathing, inhaling through the nose. Um, and depending on allergies and things like that, sometimes you know you have to breathe through your mouth. The reason they suggest through your nose is because it conditions the air, starts to filter it, warm it up. Add some moisture to it, make it a little easier on your throat and lungs. As you breathe in, you pull the abdomen, pull the uh, diaphragm down. But again, 70% rule applies for that too. Don't try to inhale as deeply as you can. And as you exhale, you pull the pelvic floor up, moving as much air out as you can. So on the next inhale, you can bring more air in. And in Chinese medicine, they have you touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth behind your front teeth to engage to energy channels in your body. In Western medicine, you're disengaging the muscles in your jaw so you can't clench your teeth when you press there just right. Just focus on your breathing. Make the exhale last a little bit longer than the inhale. Engage that relaxation response. If you feel any tightness or tension anywhere around your forehead, eyes, ears, top of your head, around your mouth, just breathe into it and let it soften and relax. And your shoulders, your neck, down your arms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers, any tightness anywhere, just let it soften. 
your chest, your stomach, your back, any tightness, any tension, just breathe into it and let it soften. Down your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet, your toes. If there's any tightness anywhere, just let it soften and let it relax. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. Just follow me. Arms float up. Turn your hands, press in as you do. You're pressing your head back a little bit. Get some movement in the back of your neck. Turn your hands, you press out as you exhale. Inhale as you lower your hands, you tuck your chin just a little bit. Feel some stretch in your neck. You don't have to tuck it very far. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Back to the center, second for your neck. Arms come up. One hand drops down, other arm pulls over, and loud gun point lines up with upper down hand or third eye. Shoulder nice and relaxed. You can adjust your head and your arm and keeping those points connected. Turn to the side, you come back to the center. It's an exhale out, doing the same thing on the other side. Inhale in. Turn your head to one side, drop your chin, let it roll across the bottom, back straight across the center. And then just reverse. And for the shoulders, it's forward shoulder rotations. Remember if you have issues with your rotator cuffs, Turn your hands so your palms are facing behind you and make the rotations with your elbows to move your shoulders just a bit. And then reverse. Hands come up, palms facing. Fingertips go straight up. Bring your arms in so your forearms, palms touch. If that bothers you, just let your elbows come out. Arms come out to open the upper chest and they come together to open the upper back. It's an inhale and an exhale. Just pause for the elbows, reach out. Remember that principle of sum, like your, all the joints are expanding, come back. Don't fully compress the elbow though and don't fully extend. Again, take it easy on the joints. Exhale and inhale. And then just pause, hands go like they're waving at each other, first side to side, and then towards and away from each other. Circles one direction, circles the other direction. Bring your hands together like they're holding hands and then just kind of rotate them around. First one way, then the other. Just shake them out a little bit. Fingers face each other at the waist. As you inhale, all the joints expand outwards. As you exhale, they just relax. It's again the principle of song expansion as you inhale, contraction as you exhale. One more. Make fists, they're at your hips, punch out, open the hand, curl it back in, pull back. It's an exhale and an inhale, and again, that principle of some, all the expansion and contraction of the joints to get that synovial fluid moving in the joints to help with the flexibility. And just flex your hands for your back, hold the ball. Lower hand pushes up, upper hand pushes down. It's an inhale to the center and exhale out. And 
when you're back to the center holding the ball. You're going to move just from the hips. So everything from the hips down stays still. So rotating on that center axis. I've got this hand on top. I rotate till the hands line up with the hip on that side. Turn the hands around and then rotate to the other side. You're massaging internal organs when you're doing this too, but it's to loosen up the muscles in your lower back a little bit. Back to the center. Hands out to one side, shift all your weight into that foot. Empty foot goes out, doesn't have to go very far. You just want to feel some stretch in your hip. Back to the center. Other side. backwards motion in the hips, palms are down, like they're resting on a railing. Shift all your weight in one foot. Hands go back a little bit to counterbalance, other foot goes forward, heel touches. If you need to rebalance, you just touch your forefoot down in the middle. Hands are back at your sides, then they go forward, foot goes straight back, forefoot touches. And if you feel pretty good with your balance, you don't have to touch at all. You do want to keep yourself perpendicular over the foot that's holding your weight. You don't go into a warrior three pose. This is just for your hips, really, and your shoulders. Back to the center. Toes towards the corners, a little space between your heels. Fists at your hips. Shift your weight into one side. You punch with the opposite arm, and you stretch out with the other leg. If you need to, you touch your foot down. You can just leave it in the air. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Again, stay in your comfort zone. Second for your knees is going into that forward bow stance. And this one you can really Practice that principle of song. I get a nice stretch out of this one. It's an exhale and an inhale. Okay, for the ankles, it's a weight shift. The empty foot goes heel and toe. Same thing on the other side. And then side to side, outside the foot, inside the foot. Touch the same spot for the lateral motion in the ankles. You do just want to move the foot so you focus on the ankle. Remember if there's anything that you can't do or that causes you issues, you visualize yourself doing it and you get a lot of the same benefits. Shift your weight over, being very gentle with your ankle, knee, and hip. First, rotate one way, and the other way. Same thing, other side. And then reverse. Just kind of shift around, shake everything out. Come back to the center and start to shift you away from one side to the other. So it's like a pendulum hanging from the bow way, going from the center of one foot to the center of the other foot. But it's just a little bit of balance work. All your weight gets in the one foot. The other foot's empty. It can just float up if you need to put your hand on a chair or the wall or just need to keep your toe on the floor. That's okay. Same thing on the other side. It's like when you're just beginning to lift your foot off the floor. And now it's like you're about to walk up over a curb or up on a step. So you let that knee float up like it's weightless. Heel floats up.
Hadi ya Fatih. Just drop your hand on your thigh. You don't hit it. You just let it fall to the thigh. And just relax. Shift your weight still. Start to turn on that center axis from one side to the other. Your arms just swing freely. You can use this as a, as a meditation. It's used at uh, Boston General Hospital, the Benson Henry Institute for relaxation response, Harvard Medical School. And they just call it the Taiji Swing. And there's some Qigong sequences that use this as well. It's nice because you don't have to remember anything. Except shift your weight. Keep yourself perpendicular to the floor. All your weight goes on the one foot, the heel of the other foot gently comes up off the floor. If you want, you can close your eyes and visualize yourself in a place where you feel very calm, safe, and secure. And you can do that also if you need to keep your eyes open looking straight ahead at something that's not moving so you don't feel a little dizzy when you're swinging your arms with your eyes closed and your head going from side to side. Just keep your head still. Come back to the center, hold me a big ball. Upper hand keeps your head still, lower hand takes your hip up. Loosen it up the lower back just a little more. Back to the center. We've almost gotten all the way through our form. Oh, uh, I may regret this. I'm gonna try to do it backwards facing you so you can just mirror me. I apologize in advance if I... It's hard to, to get into mirror world here. So, just get yourself nice and relaxed. Arms come up. And down. Left foot comes up. Open. Close. And you're going to your right. Open, close, and you're going to your left. End of the first section, open and close. Brush knee push to the right with the follow step. Play the loop, parry. Parry, punch, apparently closing, push the mountain, open, close, second part of the second section, brush D, push to the left, play the loop, parry, parry, punch, almost got ahead of myself there, apparently closing, push the mountain, to the front, open, close, brush knee, leisurely tie coat. Open, close, a lateral step for single whip, lowering movement, fist under elbow, Step back to repulse the monkey to the back. Front. Usually tie a coat. Open, close. Second part, third section, brush knee. Leisurely tie coat. Up. Back. 
push. Open. Close. Lateral single whip. Lowering movement. Fist under elbow, which I think is how far we got last time. So you know what comes next. We're just doing the mirror image. So with your left foot, you step back, shift your weight back. You do a brush knee push or a repulse monkey to the back. Shift your weight back. Left heel comes down, right toes come up. And it's repulse monkey to the front. Drop your heels, lift your toes. A brush knee push to the right. One more leisurely tie coat. Up, back, push. Come back to the front. Your feet are back in a V. You do an open and a close. Your arms come down. That's the whole thing. I'll turn around start at the beginning just to try to get the whole sequence in our heads so get yourself nice and balanced and we'll go over the third section again no worries begin Open, close. Single whip, eyes look back to the left. Wave hands like clouds going to the right. Open and close. Single whip towards the left corner, eyes look back to the right. Wave hands like clouds going to the left. Open. Close. First part of the second section, brush knee push to the right. Play the loop. Parry. Parry. Punch. Apparently closing, push the mountain, open, close, second part of the second section, brush knee left, play the lute, parry, parry, punch, apparently closing, push the mountain to the front, Open, close. First part of the third section, brush knee push to the right. Lazily tie robes or leisurely tie coat. Open and close. Lateral step or single whip, eyes look back to the right, right hand comes down, adjust the right foot, shift your weight back right, the lowering movement in the fist under elbow, right foot steps to your right as you shift your weight back, you do a brush knee push or a repulse monkey to the back, drop the heel, lift the toes, turn, repulse monkey or brush knee push to the front, brush knee to the left. Leisurely tie coat, up, back, push, to the front, open, close, second part of the third section, brush knee to the left, leisurely tie coat, fingers on your left wrist, till your hands come up, you step up, or reach out to strike with the fingers, drop back, then a little rotation back to the center line, and push, Open, close. 
lateral step for single whip, eyes look back to the left, left hand comes down, adjust the left foot, shift your weight left, lowering movement, fist on your elbow. The next move, repulse monkey to the back, so just relax your left hand, step out with your left foot, as you shift your weight, rotate on the forefoot so it's going to be at 45 degrees facing towards the back. Bring your hands up like you're going to do brush knee push. Bring your right foot into a T-step. Right hand takes the right foot around, places it down, shift your weight. Push with a follow step. Drop the left heel. Right toes come up, right hand goes palm up. As it rises, the left hand falls and you rotate on that right heel. However far is comfortable for you, shift your weight back. Right hands are ready to do Basically a brush knee to the front, left foot comes in for a T-step, left hand takes the left foot around, toes towards front, push. Drop the right heel, left hand goes palm up, lifts those left toes as you turn on the left heel, right hand drops, shift your weight left, right hand takes the right foot around, brush. Step back, we've already learned this movement, it's leisurely tie coat to the right. Left fingers on the right wrist, right hand goes palm up. Hands bring that right foot in. So the heel is up, toe is down. It's like you're checking your pulse. Hands start to rise up in front of you. As they get almost to your shoulder, you step up. Shift your weight. Extend your arms, a little follow step with the left foot. Shift your weight back so the back foot's at 45 degrees. Toes on the front foot come up. Fingers and toes are pointed in the same direction on the front. Rotate a little bit to the right. As you come back to the center and the foot comes back to the center, hands come back towards your shoulder. And you push with a follow step. As you turn to the front, drop the left heel, rotate on the right heel so your feet are back in a V, toes pointed towards the corner. Open, close, arms come down. Let's do that then. Um, second part of the third section one more time. Start with open, close, brush knee to the left, leisurely tie coat, up, back, push, open, close, Lateral single whip, lowering movement, fist under elbow, step back, repulse monkey, brush knee push to the back, drop the left heel, raise the right toes, rotate on the right heel, brush to the front, drop the right heel, lift the left toes, brush to the right. Usually tie coat one last time. And back. And push back to the front. Open. Close. Down. We're going to go over the form <coughs> in subsequent weeks. So we'll get it in our memory. And we'll... Um, Maybe add some different uh, Qigong movements as well. Let's do it all the way through one more time and I'll face the other way. So we keep our left and our right. You remember on my website, it's findingdao.com or Williamsburg, T A I J I, Taiji.com. You can find this whole form. And I'm doing it in front of a mirror so you can see the back and front at the same time. You can have a list of the movements there as well. It's under Tai Chi for Arthritis or Beginner Sun Style. Nice and relaxed, nice and balanced. And begin opening. Open, close. Single whip. Wave hands like clouds.
open, close, single whip, wave hands. Open and close. Brush knee. Play the loop. Step up to parry. Parry. And punch. Apparently closing. Push the mountain. Open. Close. Second part, second section. Brush knee. Left side. Lay the loop. Parry. Parry. Punch. Apparently closing. Push the mountain to the front. Open. Close. First part, third section. Brush knee push to the right. Leisurely tie coat. Open and close. Lateral single whip. Lowering movement. Fist under elbow. Step back. Repulse monkey. To the back. To the front. Brush knee. Leisurely tie coat. Open, close, second part, third section, brush knee to the left, leisurely tie coat. Open, close, lateral single whip in the lowering movement. Fist under elbow, step back, Repulse monkey to the back, to the front, brush knee to the right, leisurely tie coat one last time, back to the front, open, close. up on your toes, tense everything up as you inhale, exhale, just let everything, everything flow out. Inhale and exhale again, don't do anything that causes you discomfort, just stay in your comfort zone. Loosen up your legs a little bit. Balance everything out three times, inhale up, exhale down. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, healthy, and well. I will see you next time. Take care.